Chef Buck here, and today I'm throwing together a, a, a fancy wine plate. Is that called a charcuterie? Sure, a snack. Bunch How do you of snacks. say that word? I don't know what it means. I should have researched it. Usually, when you go, because we've gone different places and ordered a charcuterie plate, you know, with a with a glass of wine. In fact, there's one near where we're staying now. We're at a fancy pants uh, house sit. And there's a balcony with a beautiful view. So we've been uh, making these little charcuterie plates and sitting on the balcony and drinking some lovely wine. And in fact, there's a place very near here where we can go to buy one of these fancy pantsy plates. But then it costs like 25 bucks. You know, you pay 25 bucks for some cold cuts and probably a whole bunch of pickles and crackers. Poor Chef Buck. Well, we're not eating crackers. Well, you know, so, so I don't want to go somewhere and then spend an arm and a leg for, you know, a plate, half of it I'm, I'm trying to avoid to eat. But come down here and look at what I got here. And this way, you end up making us each our own board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, we kind of overeat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm going to make two of these plates. It probably costs us 40 bucks <sighs> or something like this here. But I got this here. I got some pickled things. I got a bunch of olives. And this here is a pickled okra. I don't know if uh, if y'all have ever tried uh, okra pickles. Man, they are delicioso. But the thing is, it's hard, you know, without eating bread and crackers, you know, without making toast or whatever, it's hard to find something crunchy. I've got some carrots on here, blah, blah, blah. But one thing we've been experimenting with this much as a potential crunchy element is these zucchini chips. You know, I've been trying to make, I don't know how I feel about these things. <laughs> I mean, I guess I feel okay about them because this is like the fourth time I've done it this month. So, I mean, I guess they work to a certain degree, but I'm not thrilled because this is basically two zucchinis and I've sliced them pretty thin, but not all that thin. Uh, Cause I was, I was slicing them super duper thin. Like I, I cut one zucchini and filled this whole pan with just one zucchini. They were sliced so thin. But then by the time they cooked out, I don't know, like here, I've got one here that was kind of thinner. See, it almost cooks away to nothing and it's still kind of wet. You know, it still hasn't dried out completely. But I just got uh, some slices of zucchini and I spiced them up. And this is two zucchinis, so they were a little fatter. And then I'm cooking them on 250. And I cooked them for about an hour and 15 minutes, and then I turned them, and now I'm continuing to cook them. And they've probably cooked for another hour. Oh, we could eat them now. Well, yeah, we could eat them now, but we're not ready, so I'm going to let them go. So really? That, but it's 5 o'clock somewhere. <laughs> but, you know, hopefully they'll get a little crispier. But, I mean, cooking zucchini for two and a half hours, I don't know if that's worth it. But anyway, we're trying to uh, find some things that we can throw on our fancy pants charcuterie that'll make it worthwhile. And then I thought of something else I could put on there, and that's what I'm going to do today, which will be real quick. So I'm going to turn on my burner, and I'm going to put it kind of on medium high. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fry up some fish skin. Because sometimes we get fish skin. In fact, when I buy salmon, if I'm going to uh, uh, cook a filet of salmon on the stovetop and I go to buy salmon and they've got salmon with the skin still on the filet, I mean, that's fantastic because I love to buy those filets and then put the skin side down and sear it. And in fact, I'll, I'll put a link to a video below if you want to see that. So, you know, sometimes you think, you know, the skin on the fish isn't any good, but sometimes that makes the fish extra good. And uh, I showed this here in a, a video a couple of weeks ago when we did a real-time video where we were cooking like a salad -y type thing, you know, with some smoked salmon and we put an egg on top. And so we do those sort of meals with smoked salmon, but I also like to use smoked trout. And sometimes we'll buy these packages of smoked trout. And I don't think I did this. Did you do this, camera girl? Yes. Okay. Because this here came with two fillets. And we ate one fillet. 
And now Camera Girl has been in here. What? And ain't eaten half of this filet. What's wrong but this with that? smoked trout, there's nothing wrong with it. In fact, it's good because it illustrates the fact that she peeled the meat off of the skin. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, peel the meat off of the rest of this skin because I don't love this skin like this. You know, if you just get it smoked like this, I mean, you can eat it like this. This fish has been cooked. This smoked fish, ready to eat right out of the package. You know, it's great for a uh, breakfast meal, like oh, putting yeah. on a bagel with uh, some cream cheese or doing it with a salad yeah. like we do sometimes in the morning again. Any relevant links will be down below if you want to check them out. But this kind of smoked trout comes attached with the skin. But I don't like to use the skin. I don't, you know, it's just not very appetizing like well, this. Well, it gets soggy. Yeah, I mean, it's just... But it tastes good. You know, it tastes good, but the texture's not great. But I'm going to use this skin as kind of a crispy element. In like my, instead uh, of pork rinds. Sure. Exactly. Pork rinds is a good uh, analogy. Analogy or example? We don't know. We're not English majors. Do, 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 do. But I'm going to go ahead and heat my skillet up on medium high heat. And I'm going to throw me a little bit of olive oil in here. But that's way, way more than I needed, especially for this nonstick pan. And this is a green pan. We're at a, uh, a house sit. And I've been enjoying using this pan. So if you want to check it out, I'll have a link down below, an affiliate link, so we can rake in the big bucks. But I'm going to go ahead and heat this up. And in fact, I'm going to go ahead and slice this because it's going to curl up a little bit uh, when I cook it. But I'll cook this, or else I'll, I'll cook this into four pieces, so we'll have two on each plate. And so I got my Fancy Pants Mix Match here, and I'm going to go ahead and put some zucchini on here and some of this skin, and hopefully that will uh, give us something crispy to eat in lieu of crackers. But that's all I'm going to do is just fry up this skin that is already smoked. It's already cooked, but I'm going to fry it up. But if you buy fish and it's got skin right off of it, you know, you can fry it up just like this here and turn it into a fish skin chip? Well, if you mm. leave it if you leave it on the fish, it's also good. Yeah, 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 for sure. Right. It's delicious. Let me see if this is hot enough. Oh, yeah, it's definitely hot enough. I think I'll stay back here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Be careful. I don't want to pop any grease on my camera lens. I'm going to go ahead and hold this down so it doesn't curl up too bad because you got to be careful when you fry this, because it'll want to curl up into a little ball. Well, how would you feel if you had hot temperatures on you? Mm -hmm. Camera girl's always raking me over the hot coals. <laughs> so I know this house. That's, that's why I like to cook these, you know, I like to cook these into some bigger pieces. Because I've tried this before where I take these skins and I slice them up into some thin strips. Oh, see how it just wants to curl up? So then it'll curl up too fast. So cutting it into some bigger pieces. Oops, now it's getting too hot. Yes. Look at that, I'm having trouble doing it. That's okay, I'm not gonna fight it. Do you need to turn we'll it down deal a with bit? It. No, 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 no. High is good because I want to cook this up fast. Oh no. Oh lord. Did that pop it? It's just like bacon. This is like fish bacon. Chef Bug, be careful. This is like, um, who's the superhero, Aquaman? Like when Aquaman orders bacon, this is what he gets. See, this kind of thing I cook in a pot with high walls. I mean, I realize that won't help for a video, but... No, no, no. Because it splatters everywhere. No, the thing is, I got too much oil in here, that's all. If I didn't have all this oil in here, I wouldn't be having this problem. But you can see how quickly it is frying up. Doing surgery there. And you see I'm kind of using my hands in here to do this here, but don't you do that at home. You know, I am a trained professional. Getting oil all over your shirt, I'm sure. Oh, am I? Sure. I this reminds me of my being at my mom's when she cooked bacon. 
and you walk by the stove and the bacon would pop and almost send you to the emergency room. Hey, your mother always had a full, full, full pan of bacon. She never had it oh my God. a third of the way filled. Well, you know, people don't even fry bacon anymore. You can just cook, you can cook, people bake bacon. You know, they throw it on a pan and just bake it in the oven or they just cook it in the microwave. Not your mother. So make sure and put my meaty side down. You get it super duper fried on the inside. Let me take a gander here. How my zucchini's doing? Like I said, this has been cooking for a couple of hours and I've already turned this over once. They're still kind of flimsy. I heard a little bit of a crunch. Yeah, there's a little bit of a crunch. It's just a little salty taste. I can cook these probably for another 20 minutes to get them as crispy as I would like. But I'm gonna go ahead and take a couple of them, or take some of them out of there. And go ahead and plate up our charcuterie. But I think this skin is almost done. And you can basically just fry it, you know, till, till it's as done as you want it to be. The thing is, once I take it off of the skillet, it's gonna harden up anyway. But since I put so much oil on here, I'm gonna go ahead and take them off and just put them on a paper towel. And that's it. That's all you have to do to, uh, crisp up some fish skin. Let me find some of the crispier pieces here. And we'll go ahead and pile this up and try to make this as decadent as possible without being too decadent. Because I think, you know, if you regularly watch our videos, I think in the last two months, have we put up anything too unhealthy? Oh, I'm sure we have. Do, are you? Because I'm not sure that we have. I think we've been pretty consistently healthy for the last two months because we've been eating healthy for a while now. Healthy is a, a continuum. What does that mean? It means the means, oils you use. It means um, how many green leafies. Blah, well, blah, we've, blah, we've been eating a lot of green food. leafies. We've been eating not a lot of processed food. The thing is, we're gonna have some wine with this here. This is really just an excuse to have some wine. Let me take a couple of the big olives with jalapenos in them so to separate these so you can tell my zucchini from my <laughs> from my skin. And yeah, you it. even got those olives with the jalapeno. I forgot yeah, about yeah, those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got uh, different kinds of olives wow. here. But this here, how much did this cost? No. You know, this is nothing. This is, this is just a couple of dollars probably. You know, because we've done this like four times this month already. This will be the fifth time. You know, and, and we're just using this same stuff. We get a lot of mileage out of these. Go over here and look at this here. We get a lot of mileage out of these pickled doohickeys. And then we end up with a fancy pants plate like this here. But here, I don't know. Let's come over here and get the crunch of this skin. Can you hear that? Yes. Fish skin. It is so delicioso. But we're going to go out on the balcony and have some fancy pants whatnot. Now, I don't know about these... Uh, Zucchini. Come over here and see if you can hear the crunch here. You can. That's shorter. It's not as it's not a cracker. But if I cooked it a little bit longer, it might get closer. And I don't know, maybe I'll do a video about that. But I just thought I would uh turn on the camera so you could get a look at something that you could do with fish skin if you wanted. Well, and I want to hear what other people put on their charcuterie. Because some people, because some people do uh, dried fruit, you can do like dried cocktail fruit. breads. You can do all kinds of well, stuff. Well, yeah, that's the thing. Without crackers and bread, know. you know, we're having to be more creative. But I remember one time when we were in Seattle, we went to some place and we ordered a charcuterie. Yeah, that was they for brought, my birthday. Yeah. Yeah, they brought it on a wooden doohickey or whatever. And how much did we pay for that? It doesn't matter. It was, well, it did because it was just a bunch of little dill pickles. <laughs> but at least here you get some variety. So we're going to go out on the balcony and we've got a really delicious wine here to unscrew. All right. So we're being fancy pants and so you can be fancy pants too for almost nothing. You just need pickles and fish skin and a bottle of cheap wine. We hope you're having a great weekend. Uh, find all our stuff down below, link of sources, and we'll see you next weekend. Bye-bye.
Wow, see? Once that, uh, once that fish skin gets cold, come over here. The crunch is even more crunchy. I'm, I'm going to eat all my fish skin right now. Good. All righty. You ready? Yeah, okay. Mm. It's so tasty. So, think, let's sit down and eat it. Yeah. I think people are going to be grossed out at the thought of fried fish skin. But don't be. Give it a try. That's all we got this weekend. Just fried skin. We'll see you next weekend. Bye-bye.